Hello and welcome back to this latest video on the channel. Um, I wanted to cover something briefly. It's not going to be a long video, but I wanted to quickly talk about the experience that I've just had trying to import the schematic diagram that we did earlier, which was designed in KiCad version 6. So it's a little bit old now, but that's fine. All of the uh, key strokes and um, shortcuts that we've been looking at are all the same in the later version, so it's all relevant. But I thought, wouldn't it be good if we could get the KiCad version upgraded to the latest um, stable model, which is uh, version 8, and with version 9 apparently coming out very soon. I think it's January. I thought, OK, let's go from version 6 to version 8. See how smooth the migration process was. Well, spoiler alert, not that smooth. But I wanted to show you what I had to do to get the version 6 schematic to load correctly into version 8. And uh, I've made some notes in front of me, so I'm hoping to recreate the, uh, the steps that I had to take to get it to work. And the hope is that if any one of you out there watching actually is in a similar situation, maybe you're going from 6 to 8, maybe you're going from maybe even 7 to 8, then some of these steps may prove useful. That's why I'm doing this, not just for my benefit, it's for the benefit of anybody watching who may be in a similar situation trying to migrate. So with that, all of that out of the way, let's do the first thing, which would be to uh, get the latest version of, of KiCad. We're up here to uh, current version 8.0.6. Okay, so that's where we are right now uh, with the latest version. As I say, there is version 9 coming out, but it's not actually officially released yet or anything, so I'm not going to go that far. First thing to do is to actually download the thing. Um, well, I'm running Windows here, so I'm going to be going for the 64-bit um, the version of Windows. And you can download it from various websites here. Depending on where you are in the world, you'll probably get better speed results downloading it, depending on where you are. So anyway, once all that's downloaded, I won't go through all of that. Basically, just make sure you... Uh, you know, you, you get the latest version from this uh, URL here. Okay, so we're looking at kicad.org slash downloads slash windows if you're running a Windows machine. Right, so let's, uh, let's get out of here. So let's just assume that um, it is downloaded and you've even installed the, uh, the latest version from the uh, official website. Okay, I'm not going to go through all the install steps. There's there's plenty of videos on YouTube already showing you how to install KiCad and all the other bits and bobs. So I'm going to bypass all of that, but this is where you end up anyway. Right, let's get rid of that. So let's assume it's all installed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up KiCad 8. Right, so here we are. And this is uh, KiCad 8. Never know, quite know whether to say KiCad or KiCad. I believe it's KiCad. So this is our original project, our analog card schematic. Now remember this is from KiCad version 6. So this is going to be interesting. Will it actually pull in the uh, version 6 into version 8? Now, in an ideal world, uh, it should just load in and say, do you want to upgrade to the latest version? And, you know, and you, you, you could click yes, and everything's taken care of and everything just works. However, Life isn't always that simple, so let's open it up. All right, now the first thing we've got is, uh, if you remember from the schematic video that we did earlier, there is a sheet number two, which never got used, and it, it just stayed as untitled.keycard.sch. But there is an actual second sheet, and it's telling me that it can't open it. So there's the first problem, it can't open up the second, the, uh, the second sheet. So let's just uh, scrap that. We're now in KiCad 8, and on the face of it, look at this. I mean, there's our diagram. That's pretty good. So it's pulled everything in without any major problems. And there's our secondary sheet. Now, can I open that? Well, you can. So, yes, it looks as if the secondary... I don't know what the error was all, all about, but um, it looks as if it can actually um, open it, which is uh, pretty good. But, uh, yeah, everything seems to have pulled in, so that's brilliant I mean that's a good start now let's try and go a little bit further here okay so let's do an inspection on the electrical rules checker and just make sure that everything is still correct rules checker the ERC and see what we've got 
Oh dear, okay, so this is, this is where we start hitting problems. As you can see, we actually don't have any errors, which is uh, great, but we've got a whole stack full of warnings. We've got 398 warnings. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's not brilliant. What's all these warnings? So I'll just, I'll close that. Well, before I close that, um, you can probably see that um, it's saying warning. Symbol pin or wire end off connection grid. And there's a whole load of them. There's lots and lots and lots. Lots and lots of those and some other ones in there as well. So a lot of them are repeating. I dare say if we fix this situation, we'll get rid of a lot of the warnings, if not all of them, or most of them anyway. So uh, the first thing you do is uh, figure out what on earth is going on here. So yeah, that's the first problem. But no errors, which is uh, pretty good. Let's look at the diagram and uh, just zoom in and see what's going on here. Well, as you can see, we've got lots of errors here. And if we click one of those, uh, well, it's a, it's a warning, actually. If we click one of those, it says down here, the same message, uh, simple pin or wire end off connection grid. Okay, now I spent a bit of time earlier uh, figuring out what this problem is. So I'm not gonna go through the whole procedure of figuring out what the problem is in real time, because I can tell you it took about a couple of hours for us to figure out what, what on earth was going on. So, and it's all to do with the, um, with the grid, the, uh, the background grid and the positions of the, uh, the you know, the, uh, the labels and wire joints and this kind of thing, wire connections to the, to the grid itself. And the error sort of alludes to that by saying off grid connection. So what can we do about this in a situation like this? Well, I've had to do a few things and I'm going to admit at this point, I'm brand new to version eight. So, you know, if anybody out there has got any easier ideas of how to sort this out, um, feel free to comment. But this is the only way I've been able to import the uh, version six file into version eight and get it to work. So this is what I had to do. So the first thing was turn off the grid override button, which is this red, looks like a padlock. Grid overrides, turn that off. That was the first thing. And then set the grid size. Okay, now right hand clicking the um, the sheet, anywhere on the sheet, you can go down to, um, if you can see that. Yeah, so if you go to um, right hand click and then grid, uh, you can see that you can select grid different grid sizes here. And for whatever reason, I've had to set mine to this setting here, which is 1.27 millimeters, which is uh, 0 0.05 an inch. And with that grid size selected, um, we've got the grid override off, and we've got the grid size set to 1.27 millimeters. Then what we have to do is um, select everything. In other words, Control A, Control A for Apple, and select all. Um, then we have to right hand click on one of the parts somewhere. And this item here, align items to grid. Okay, so what it's gonna do is it's just gonna align everything on the sheet to the grid point nearest to it. So let's do that, align the grid. Right, it just did that. Okay, and we'll come away from there. Let's have a quick look, make sure our connections are still connections still all there there's nothing broken by the looks of it yeah okay that looks all right as far as i can tell so let's rerun the um the erc um, delete all markers and run erc what are we dealing with now okay well that's a lot better we've got rid of loads so it's sorted out the grid problem now we're down to just 36 <laughs> just <laughs> 36 warnings uh, but it's a heck of a lot better than 300 and something that we had earlier. And you'll notice that these are now different uh, errors. There's none in here which says that something's off grid. So um, that sorted it out. So anyway, that's the first thing that I had to overcome uh, to import from version 6 to version 8. And I don't know if that's something specific to the problem that I had with the... Um, maybe I had the, uh, the wrong grid sizes or something in version 6 to start off with. I'm just going by my experience here. It doesn't mean it applies to everyone out there. Right, so let's fix the next problem. So one of the things that keeps coming up is uh, the GND symbol has been modified in library power. 
Now, to be honest, I have no clue what that means because I certainly haven't modified anything, any of the, uh, the power labels that myself. I don't really know why it would say such a thing, uh, but it, it says it's been modified, certainly not by me. So let's have a look at my sheets here and what's the next thing to do here. If you go to one of the ground symbols, there's, there's a one there for instance, and then right hand click uh, on the symbol I think. There should be an update all symbols. Uh, am I in the right place? Updates, update symbol. Mm -hmm. When I did right hand click update symbol on the ground, it uh, it shows it's there. There's the that's that's the right uh, that's the right uh, name there. So we need to update all, which is the uh, top box there, top radio button. And that's going to update all symbols in the schematic. So whatever the difference is, it's going to put it right on all of those symbols. Okay, I'll just zoom out a little bit. And we'll do update. And it says down here, they're all being done. In fact, it's done everything. It's done the, um, the power plus five to power plus five. It looks exactly the same. I can't understand. Uh, from power plus five to power plus five, it looks the same to me. So I don't know what's, what this is, but there you go. Uh, the main thing is it's changed something. So let's close that and uh, come back out again. Let's run the uh, ERC again. Electrical rules check and clear everything. And let's, let's do a run. Ah, well, that's a lot better. So all the symbols are now fixed. So that's cool. So now we're down to just two warnings which is a heck of a lot better than what we started out at. So as you can see, the warnings are coming down less and less. Every time we, we fix something, it, it gets the sheet a bit closer to uh, error free. We've got a couple of connectors on the board. Con 01 times 12, male. It says not found in the symbol library connector. And there's another one down here. Con 01 uh, 02, male, not found in library connector. There's obviously a difference between the libraries, the, the KiCad uh, symbol libraries, and it just can't find the name. They must have changed it. Or, you know, that, I'm sure that's what's happened. That's understandable. Libraries will change over time, I'm sure. Well, this is the uh, connector that we have for our card. So that was a right-hand click and change symbol. Okay. Now, we need to change the symbol from... Con, um, what was it? Con O one times twelve underscore male to a new symbol. And what you can do is go into the um, into the new library. And this will take a while to load, so we'll do a jump cut. Okay, we're back. So it's gonna. It's just opened up the uh, symbol chooser, and we need to put in the connector uh, name. So I'm going to do con. There's all of our cons again. And can you see what's happened? It's, it's actually changed. What we had was mail. Con 01 times 12 mail. And they've changed the names. It's now con 01 times 12 pin. So they've changed it from mail to pin. And they've changed it from female to socket. Which makes logical sense. Uh, I just don't know why it was changed, but you know, obviously it has been. So that's why I couldn't find our original uh, header because uh, the name was wrong. So what we need to do is to change this to uh, 01 times 12 pin. That's the equivalent to a mail. Okay, so we're going from uh, mail to pin. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think that's it. Let's click change. And it says it's done it. Okay, so we can close that. Let's run the ERC again. Let's see if it fixed that. Run ERC. Yes. Success. So now we're only down to one warning. And it's the same again with the other connector. So we know how to do that now. Let's go to the other. Let's go to the other connector, which is this one. Right hand click that. And change symbol. 
Okay, so it's like what we had before. Now it's a zero one times zero two male connector and we know this has to be pin. Now I think I could just type in pin on the end there and it will probably work. I don't even think we'll have to go through the, uh, the, the library search again, but I'll, I'll do it and we'll just make sure. Do it manually. There, there's all the pins. So we'll want a zero one, zero two, one by two in other words. Uh, and there it is there, pin. So let's select that. And that's what it's going to do. So we're going to go from male to pin. Okay, let's say change. And it's done it. And as you can see, the uh, it still looks correct on the diagram. And as does the 12-pin uh, the header as well. So let's uh, come out of there and have a look at the... Uh, the good old uh, ERC, and uh, let's let's run that, run ERC, and there you have it, everyone. It's error free and it is warnings free. So we've done it. What that means is, by following those steps, we're now in a situation where the sheet is loaded, and we can actually start to proceed to uh, create the PCB, which is going to be in the next video. So, a bit of a cliffhanger there. <laughs> it's a short video. I just wanted to highlight that you can actually do things like this. You can actually go from version 6 to version 8, or possibly uh, this may apply to version 7 to version 8. I'm not too sure about that. I guess it just depends when things have been changed. You know, at what point were the grid spacings different, or the component layout different, or the libraries changed. And to be honest, it's a lot of uh, work to try and back engineer every single change. So I'm just glad at the end of the day that, you know, it's pulled in our sheet so we can continue with the project without uh, too much, too much work. So anyway, I hope you found this useful. And of course, what you can do is when, don't forget when you finish, click save there. And by clicking save, once we've made all of these changes, um, it does mean that this is now a version 8 schematic and there it is there that it says EDA 806 so that's where we are so if you find yourself in a similar situation with those errors maybe this can be you know look at the video again and uh, pause it and have a look and uh, hopefully it helps somebody else out there that's really why I'm doing this and from now on we're going to be using version 8 uh, for continuation uh, of the uh, PCB design uh, that's coming up next so that's basically it. I hope you got something from that. Uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thanks again for watching.